Hello dears welcome back In the last video we represented simple irrational numbers like root 2 root 3 on a number line Today we can learn how to represent the square root of any non perfect squares like root 13 root 15 or square root of 10 etc or even decimal numbers like square root of 9.2 square root of 15.4 etc on a number line so stay tuned before learning the procedure we can understand some concepts let x be any real number consider x plus 1 by 2 and x minus 1 by 2 clearly x plus 1 by 2 is larger than x minus 1 by 2 now consider the square root of x plus 1 by 2 the whole square minus x minus 1 by 2 the whole square inside the square root sign this is of the form a square minus b square and we know that this is equal to a plus b times a minus b using this identity we can simplify the expression inside the root sign that is square root of x plus 1 by 2 plus x minus 1 by 2 times x plus 1 by 2 minus x minus 1 by 2 When we simplify this, we will be getting square root of x plus x is equal to 2x plus 1 minus 1 cancels, so that 2x by 2 times here x minus x cancels and 1 minus minus 1 is 2 divided by 2, so that we get the expression as square root of x. From this, it is clear that any real number x. can be represented as the difference of squares of x plus 1 by 2 and x minus 1 by 2 now coming to the construction let x be the real number for which we have to represent root x on the number line to represent root x we need only two numbers that is x plus 1 by 2 and x minus 1 by 2 consider a right triangle with x plus 1 by 2 as the hypotenuse and x minus 1 by 2 as the base i am naming it as o a b now we have to find ab by pythagoras theorem ab is equal to square root of ob square Minus o a square. That is equal to square root of. Now o b is x plus one by two, so x plus one by two the whole square minus x minus one by two the whole square. But we know that this is equal to square root of x. That is, if we construct a right triangle with x plus one by two as the hypotenuse and x minus one by two as the base. then altitude will be the length root x using this method we can represent root 13 on a number line we take x is equal to 13 so x plus 1 by 2 is equal to 13 plus 1 by 2 is equal to 14 by 2 which is equal to 7 now x minus 1 by 2 Is equal to 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. These are the only two numbers we need to construct root 13. For that, we have to construct a right triangle OAB with OB seven units and OA six units. Now, AB is equal to square root of seven square minus six square, which is equal to square root of 49 minus 36. Is equal to square root of 13. Now we can start the construction. 
For that, first we draw a number line and mark the points on it. Here, I am using the scale as 1 unit is equal to 2 cm. Now, I mark O at the point 0 and A at the point 6 so that OA is equal to 6 units. Now, we have to construct a perpendicular at a. The next step is we have to find the point B on the perpendicular so that OB is equal to 7 units. For that, take the measurement of 7 units on the compass and draw an arc on the perpendicular such that OB is equal to 7 units. We get OB is equal to 7 units. Now, AB is the length root 13. But we have to mark this point on the number line so that take the measurement of root 13 on the compass, place the compass at the origin and mark the point on the number line. This point P is square root of 13. Next, on the same number line, we are going to represent the square root of the decimal number 7.2. Here, x is equal to 7.2, x plus 1 by 2 is equal to 4.1, x minus 1 by 2 is equal to 3.1. We have to construct a right triangle with 3.1 as the base, 4.1 as a hypotenuse so that altitude is of length square root of 7.2. Over to the construction. This is the point 3.1. We can mark it as A dash. Now we construct a perpendicular at the point A dash. Using the same procedure, we can represent the square root of any real number on the number line. That's all for today. Bye-bye. Take care.